What's up everyone? I'm Abby and I'm a video producer with UGA Housing, giving you guys an inside look on what it's actually like to live on campus. This video is a part of my new series where I'm completing a bunch of different things off of the 101 things to do in Athens list. In this video, I went on a road trip to visit the Iron Horse statue with UGA ambassador and friend, Maya. Hopefully this gives you a better look at the overall experience and maybe encourages you to go visit as well. Driving to the Iron Horse took around 25 minutes, but honestly it felt way shorter because there were a lot of really cool things to look at along the way, including these cute cows. We even got stuck driving behind a tractor. <laughs> hey, what are you supposed to do? <laughs> when you get there, there's a small gravel lot where you can park and a path that leads right to the Iron Horse. The statue is within this huge fenced-in field. Maya and I decided to have a picnic, so we brought a blanket and some snacks. Hey everyone, I'm here with Maya, and we just finished our lunch at the Iron Horse. <laughs> there it is. After we finished eating, we decided to try to climb the horse. <laughs> I don't know what to do from here. That was Maya's attempt. <laughs> so you might be wondering why the statue is all the way over at the plant sciences farm and it's actually a really interesting story. The Iron Horse was made in 1954 by Abbott Pattinson who was trying to introduce abstract art into the South. The sculpture was originally placed in front of Reed Hall but the students hated the abstract sculpture so much that they started setting fire to it. After the statue was vandalized, it was kept in hiding for over five years. After many failed attempts to bring the statue back to campus, it was ultimately placed on a farm about 25 miles south of Athens. The statue has been there ever since, and it attracts lots of UGA students who like to visit and take pictures. I really enjoyed my experience going to visit the Iron Horse statue. I think that you should definitely give it a try. If you are going to visit the Iron Horse statue, you should know that it's about a 25 to 30 minute drive, but it's honestly a really cool drive. You get to see a lot of farms, horses, uh, a lot of things that are very different from the downtown campus area life, which is really fun. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe down below and leave me a comment letting me know what thing I should do next off of the 101 things to do in Athens list. That's all, bye.